welcome to another Hunter One production. Graphing hunting videos ahead. Please leave now if you do not wish to view. You know, some rifles are just different, and this is one of them. I purchased this first generation crown from Utah Air Guns back in 2018. And while there are many like it, this one is mine. My crown has been modified with a heavier hammer, high flow dual barrel port, pin pro, 700cc bottle, and a Huma regulator. Now we'll be shooting varmint knocker 50 grain hollow point swage slugs at an average speed of 860 to 870 feet per second. Varmint knocker 50 grain 30 cal FX crown. The crown is running the 50 grain varmint knockers at an average speed of 865 feet per second. And as you can see, this group is coming along pretty nicely. And as always, you know I have to bring it to you in slow motion. That last group was at 50 yards. Let's go ahead and stretch it out to 100 yards. Top left target, center point. And as you can see, I haven't adjusted for windage or elevation. While that was an okay group, I went ahead and adjusted the elevation and decided to shoot another three shot group at 100 yards. And as you can see, the slugs are pretty much falling into the same hole. I'll bring it to you again in slow motion so you can watch the slugs in flight. While I shoot groups almost every weekend, this will probably be the only time you ever see me play swing in a video. But I wanted to share with you the amount of work that goes into preparing for the hunt and going out and making our guns as precise as they are. This is the work behind the scenes. Okay, now that that's done, Let's go ahead and get into some hunting action. This guy was taken at a distance of 20 yards. FX Crown 30 cal, 50 grain varmint knockers. And he's done. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Ooh. He's lights out. Here's another one that gets hit at a distance of 70 yards. 70 yards. In 
And there he is rolling down the hill. He's rolling down the hill. Let's watch as the 50 grain finds its way to the target. This one was taken at a distance of 115 yards. That's 115 yards, FX cal, 30 cal, 50 grain environment knockers, 115 yards. Let's watch it again in slow motion. This next shot was taken at a distance of 83 yards. It's 83 yards. And there he is. And as usual, let's track the slug to its target in slow motion. Another shot taken at 43 yards. It's 42 yards. DRT. The next few shots will come from the FX crowning 22 cal configuration shooting the 22 grain varmint knocker. They're running at an average speed of 1,000 feet per second, and they're deadly accurate. He's done. That shot was taken at the short distance of 25 yards. He's lights out. This next shot came in at a distance of 80 yards. Eighty yards. That's eighty yards. FX crowning twenty two cal. Lights out. Let's see it in slow motion. Here's a cottontail that was taken at a distance of 40 yards. GSB Hades, 40 yards. Lights out. And here it is again in slow motion. That shot came in at 70 yards, and he's done. And here's another one at 70 yards. This would be the last shot of this episode.
Be sure to tune in for the next episodes, as both my FX Crown and FX Impact will both receive 700cc bottles. Talking about having air. Thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell to be notified when new videos like these are uploaded. See you again next time. Hunter One, out.